Hi, welcome to Nina's Journey. Today, I'll be making hazelnut chocolate royale with chocolate Bavarian cream. This is my first time experimenting with the class recipe. Obviously, I made some mistakes, but I'll be telling you how I was able to fix it. Part 1, the sponge cake roll. You'll need these ingredients to make a sponge cake. First, I sift the AP flour and the cocoa powder together. And then I add my kochu salt. Then I grease my pan and a parchment paper with the butter. Next, I prepare the eggs. After I finish my mise en place, I preheated my oven to 400 degrees. Now, let's begin whipping the egg and the sugar. Whip it right away and don't leave the sugar in there for too long because it's gonna burn the egg. Let's whip on high speed until it becomes this consistency. Now, I added half of my dry mixture. Then, I mix it on low speed. Be careful not to overmix it. Then I add the rest and mix it on low speed again. You will really want to be careful with this step because you don't want to deflate it. As you can see, I used the whisk to gently fold the mixture. Now, let's put it in the half sheet tray. Let's give it a few tap before baking it. Then I bake it for 8 to 10 minutes. Don't go over it. While we wait for the cake, we can prepare for something to roll it. You can use big kitchen towel if you have it, but I don't. So I use another parchment paper. For this step, I sifted the cocoa powder and a little bit of powdered sugar. You can use both or either or. The cake is done. Let's see. Nice. I sifted the cocoa powder onto the cake again so it won't stick when I roll the cake. Then I run the knife around the side of the pan so it's easier for me to take the cake out. Let's sift it again. And now I roll the cake. 
For this step to work, the cake still need to be warm so it won't break when you roll it. I gave it a first roll so it has memory. I waited for a bit, then I unroll it. Now, let's spread the Nutella onto it. Let's wrap it and refrigerate it for a few hours. Part 2 Chocolate Bavarian Cream First, a broom to gelatin. Then I microwave the chocolate every 30 seconds until it melted. For this step, I kind of made a mistake. If I were to do it again, I would put the broom gelatin into the hot milk and put the hot milk into the chocolate to make a chocolate grenache. As you can see, it curdles up, but I was able to fix it by putting a hot milk into the mixture. So now, it becomes a ganache texture. Now, let's set it aside. Next, I prepared making an Italian meringue by heating up a sugar and a water to 240 degrees. Let's make an Italian meringue. Let's put it on low speed while you're adding the sugar syrup into the egg white. After completely adding the sugar syrup, turn on high speed. Whip it until it becomes marshmallow fluff. Let's fold it into the chocolate mixture. Try not to over mix it so you won't be afraid of it. Now, let's whip the heavy cream until it becomes soft peak. Let's cut the cake roll. I made a mistake by not wrapping a bowl with a plastic wrap. So please wrap your bowl first before you do this step. Now, let's 
always fold the whipped cream into the chocolate mixture. You don't want to do this step ahead of time because the cold whipped cream will set the gelatin. Like I said, try not to over mix it. Let's add it in. Freeze the cake for at least 3 hours, then transfer to the refrigerator for 1 hour. Now, let's unmold it. As you can see, I have a hard time unmolding it. Voila! Hazelnut Charlotte Royale Cake with a Chocolate Bavarian Cream It's so 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 good I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.